Hey, hey, YouTube. YouTube? I was going to say you table fans. You, you, YouTube? YouTube table. You t t it's like a, what do they call it? Num word smash. YouTube table. Fans of proxy. Fans of proxy. Um, Gaming, yes. We're here for Beast Heads update, baby. And, and to are. be honest, this will be really quick. There's not much. No. It's seen no, across not. some of the books. This, this is one of a few that hardly got touched, actually, which might yeah. be a good thing for, for Beast Heads. Do you think? Because okay. I think across the board, the few things have been taken down. Like King okay. Dante and Silurians a little bit as well, but um, okay. yeah. so actually not being, but but we'll, but I'm teasing. Let's get cracking, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, <clears throat> let's let's roll. Um, so Beast Hurts, uh, as you can see, um, sort of going through the first change. As you can see, there's not much on the first page. It's all the same. And not as, much as in nothing. Yeah, as a disclaimer, <laughs> we will just be going through the changes. You all yeah. know how beast heads work, right? I Probably mean, better than we do. Yeah, exactly. Um, first change, though, is the hereditary spell. Um, yes. So a bit back and forth with um, the way this works, I think, on the forums mm. and, and uh, how useful previous iterations have been. Uh, but Echoes of the Dark Forest now is the target game Sphere and Fearless um, mm. and may also move and then... Uh, Eight inch magical move, which is really cool. I I, I really like that for a, a beast heads, and I think it'll make potentially um, ambushing units more viable as well. Not okay. that they weren't viable before, but just as a yeah, I was going to say yeah, um, thirty six inch range, and you can give them fearless so they don't panic. I think that that really helps for that, and the obviously the magical move as well. Um, so yeah. I really like this actually, and. To couple it with say Raven's Wing, and you can get you know the double magical move. I think this is going to be really, really important for people that tailor to that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Was it in the? Is this the change that's lost them terror, and the enemy units in base contact with targets have a minus one discipline? That's gone. Yes. Um, so no more effect, discipline so. bomb effects. Te really. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. terror thing. But yeah. I think yeah, I think this is. A different spell that has a different utility, but I think it still fits yeah. the army and what they'll be able to use it for. So I like it. The the ranges are the same. The, the um, casting values are six and eight rather than four and eight. And obviously, as you said, they've lost terror and martial discipline, but they have gained yeah. uh, the magical move. And I think that's I think that's better and more um, more fitting yeah, for beast hits. I, I guess with the magical move and fearless, you've just got to be careful that you don't move them into a place that you can't flee from, um, or you want to flee. Well, you know, yeah, that's it. but that's just take common sense really you yeah know, just get it right but yeah um otherwise I, I quite like the change actually that and the mm. idea of an army having a double magical move i think does fit fit beast heads so uh, quite i'm uh, quite happy for that very much so. um is next change uh we won't mention that all the weapons are no. losing magical attacks, but they're not technically in the rule because it's in the rule book. We won't mention that. That's an obvious, mention that. obvious thing. Um, yeah. In terms of um, points changes, because that, that, from what I can tell, that's all there really is. Obscuring fog's gone down five points. Okay. Um, Twin Hungers has got the uh, extra bit added in about unless the wielder's model was removed as a casualty in this initiative step. Right, okay. Um, like I think that's just clarification thing, really. Yeah, I people so. were like being panged on the same turn that they were attacked, and still gaining the health point. Um, because if obviously you're attacking at the same time as something that kills you, yeah, then arguably, were they getting the health point back or not? And sure. this clarifies they don't. They don't. Has to, yeah. So no, that's fair that's enough. Fine. Um, so a clarification and a five point drop in your items. It's, yeah. it's, it's a it's a pro so far, I think. I think so. Mm. Um, on to artifacts and Seed of the Dark Forest is. This is just a rewrite. It, it's, a, it's only a rewrite and changing that the uh, the one or two casting attempts is is a failure. Yeah, which and, is in, in the rule book now. So and it's gone up ten points. So the, oh, I didn't the, see that. The yeah, forest sure. has um, gone up. So yeah, I, I don't mind it. It was used quite a bit. Um, so uh, there's that. Uh, Pillagerikin's the same. Crown of Horns is the same. I have Dominance has changed completely. Um, yeah, it has. It's got cheaper, but it's a different effect entirely. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it used to auto-pass 
primal instinct, um, which is which which was cool, like, I must imagine. And now, oh no, no, no that's the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to uh, say, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, have I got a different update? No, 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 compl- I'm talking yeah, about yeah, a different no. thing. Close combat attacks from beast cavalry and construct models will always hit the bearer on only a six up. It's a pretty powerful item, but very niche. Yes. Um, so yeah, forget about that because so, now it's cannot be stomped and fit. So it's the same sort of thing because you're only going to get stomped against harness things or big, big stuff. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I guess I, it's if you're rocking like a uh, an infantry character instead yeah. of a minotaur, then it's, you put this on him and for sure trying to make the infantry uh, beast lord um, mm. and chieftain viable uh, via that. I think. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, yeah, uh, a cheaper one and a different effect. Um, let us know, guys, if you think that's a good change um, or if you're really going to miss the old di- dominance. I think. Mm. Um, we move on to Beast Lord, who is exactly the same. Good. Apart from the Iodominance, dominance, it's more useful for Apart him. from that, yeah, yeah. Uh, Beast Chieftain, exactly the same. Good, good. We have no changes. Soussair, exactly the <laughs> same. Um, yeah. And this is a, a, a massive theme. Uh, Centaur Chieftain. Now, it, only slight change in that he's tall, cannot be stomped, and changed to beast rather oh, than cool. cavalry. Um, yeah. I don't know whether this is more of a fluff change than a mechanical change because um, it, it technically wasn't a, a cavalry because it didn't, it wasn't a mount or whatever. And I don't know whether that helps with any of that. Um, I suppose it means you can't armour him up quite as well. There'll be yeah. some things, yeah. I don't know whether that changes with... Because I used to have a... Uh, we still like, we still have a shield, still have armor. I oh, know. I suppose you can armor him up as a beast. It doesn't change anything. Does yeah. It, um, there m- uh, there may be some iteration where some cavalry thing can't go on him. Um, but you still have yeah. Willow's Ward and Alchemist Alloy, and I think sure. he still can. Um, okay. But it yeah. does make sense that he's not cavalry though, because he isn't. He's attached to his mount, so yeah. You know. Um. But yeah, otherwise cannot be stopped. Just to clarify that, um, I don't think cavalry could before, so uh, no. I, I think that's just to add that back in there. But points are the same, uh, which is yeah. a, a, another theme. Minotaur Warlord. Now, I really thought he was coming in for a nerf here. Um, Did you? I thought he was going to be points up. Um, okay. But he is exactly the same. And I, I actually think in this round of... Because we had last year where everything went down, basically, across yeah. the board. This year, I, I do feel like there's a general, everything's getting slightly upped or slightly nerfed or okay. slightly worked and stuff. And I actually think this is a really positive not change. <laughs> okay, um, good. Because I was sure he was coming in for a, a nerf. So um, yeah. Kev, Kev from Pair Weapon Podcast is definitely going to be happy about this. Um, mm, definitely, Mr. No and change. Mrs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as you say, a minor tour chieftain, no change either. So, I mean, across all the characters, really, yeah. no change. Um, mm. We even we even scroll quickly through the mount, character mount, and there is nothing. No change, right. no points, no it's... movement, but you know, debuffs or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and this is what I mean by beast herds, really, I haven't been changed too much. Um, yeah, I'd be really keen to hear if people are like disappointed by that. If beast players are disappointed, sure. yeah, I mean, yeah. bearing in mind what what Lucky Six has said about a lot of other armies may have been made weaker or nerfed, whereas you've just stayed constant. Is yeah. that annoying, or do you think you've got away with it? Yeah, and I mean, this doesn't this doesn't stop. You look at the core, no. and there's no points changes, no royal rules changes whatsoever. Mm. That's it. They're just perfectly balanced as they are. That's it. They were clearly great. Yeah. Um, feral hounds, no change. Longhorn herds, so they have had a, had a bit of a points change for additional models. Okay. Um, they have got slightly more expensive. So oh, that's a surprise, actually. Yeah, I, um, I, I think um, on the continent, should we say? Um, I, I think you saw lots of big blocks of longhorn herds. So um, yeah. the bigger blocks okay. have been nerfed somewhat, um, but okay. only point per model, so it's not going to change it these things too drastically probably over the course of a whole army list it's maybe one or two long herds you're losing yeah long i suppose horns. if you're still using your 10 ambushing long horns not then gonna, not going to change not going to yeah. affect you at all is it so. Um, so it's only the bigger blocks that are maybe going to lose one or two in number um, yeah so not not too bad if i'm honest um no. minor tours stayed the same no change mm. which i'm i'm surprised i i thought uh 
I actually thought they'd go, you know, sometimes they do like a change that doesn't actually change the total price, but changes like the three man a bit yeah. cheaper and then the extras a bit more. But um, yeah, nothing. Um, Centaurs, again, we've, we've sort of covered the uh, mechanical uh, slash fluff change, but otherwise no change whatsoever. Um, mm. I could just I, I could just put no change on repeat and do an auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auto. No, I, I, I quite was... enjoy that you're having to say it twenty times. To be yeah. Um, I'd rather it was you than me, anyway. So no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so, moving on to the things, and uh, as you say, I've just scrolled down, scrolled down, trying Briar beasts. Um, so they oh, okay. change in the way that they um, ambush. Obviously, yeah, because the special the ambush, special is, ambush is there. It does have a following exception, though, and we'll read this because there isn't much of the changes. Um, immediately after step two of the owner's mo movement phase, uh, the owner may decide for each of the briar beasts if they will enter the battlefield or not. So, okay, they have the so it's your choice. Yeah, yeah, that's um, good. I think for a unit that is very cheap and I don't want to say inconsequential because it's not inconsequential, hmm. but. You know, like it's less effective on the battle. Eighty-five points is nothing. Um, but that's a good thing to have because some units where it's more important for you to come in or not, and it affects the game. This doesn't. This is your choice. I like that. I think I might have taught myself out of my own contradiction there. <laughs> it would I, be I mean, better it, if it was more important. It is, a, to choose, it but, is yeah, a yeah. reworking of the old rule, mm. but it, so it, I mean, in essence, it hasn't changed too much. But obviously, the biggest change is the um, uh, rule book change. Yeah. Um, special ambition things. Um, it, it worked very similarly in that respect um, last time. But it, it's a change that we want to talk about. <laughs> so we're, yeah. we're going to talk about something, right? Yes, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. Um, gargles are the same. Uh, so, Terrors of Wild. And this is where uh, the most change happens in the book. Um, so, okay. I mean, if you literally just scroll down to here, you haven't missed much. <laughs> um, Cyclops. So uh, Cyclops, in terms of points wise, Shush. yeah, has got five point cheaper, and his range um, has gone down. His range, uh, his range has gone down. Yes, to thirty. He can march and shoot, but now, can march which and shoot, is, which is, is a big thing. Yeah, which is going to be really useful. So he can go that full fourteen. Yeah. So technically, his, his range, range has gone, gone up, up yeah. by <laughs> one point one inch. One inch. Yeah. Um, when you makes a difference. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> uh, and. Yeah, so um, let's know if that's big enough of a change to really affect the Cyclops. On it. You're paying can... five points for an extra inch. I mean, essentially, yeah. and a bit more. Yeah, a bit more maneuverability and um... <laughs> move on, move <laughs> anyway, on. Anyway, go attack. Um, yeah, it's five points worth it, basically, boys and girls. Um, yeah, yeah. Gortak. So uh, has got twenty five points. Beloved Gortak. Yeah, got 20, 25 points cheaper. Uh, Oof, is that all? Has lost Stubborn. Um, Ouch. So, uh, If you asked anyone, how much should Stubborn be worth? <laughs> 25 points. Is I don't think anyone seem... would say anywhere close to 25 points. I mean, this guy at does... At least 50, wouldn't you? He, there was a call to make him cheaper, and I guess the, way, the only way they could do that was by getting rid of something. Um, I think that's a take... kick in the teeth. Take Strider Forest off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't care. You know, but yeah, it's um. Uh, I don't know whether this is actually a good change. Uh, stubborn no. seems to because because the Gortak will wreck, wreck loads of things, and I guess the thing that stubborn prevents is combat res affecting him, and he's really good against those combat res units against the infantry. Um, but I don't know. Personally, it seems like, and this is kind of why I'm happy that the rest of the book hasn't changed. Because if this was the direction they were going with it, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I, I, I'm not keen on um, on losing stubborn, but he he does wreck face anyway. So and he's got a bit cheaper. It, so maybe it's difficult to make him too much cheaper for it, though, isn't it? Because yeah, he is still a freaking beast. Yeah, but no save and now no stubborn means yeah. he's going to be running and. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh. they could have just stuck in a little five-up armor save just to give him something. Yeah, they? Uh, <laughs> although not, they meant to... that would have held up to much. Yeah, but, you know. So yeah, we'll see. Um, and but yeah, looking through the rest of the book. Yeah. Click repeat. No change. And and 
that actually takes us to the end of the book and the end of the review and one of the quickest reviews we have ever done. I think um, so. Yeah, great. Overall, some reworks and I don't, I, I'm not, not sure I can quite call it a nerf, but it's a very um, dull update for the Beast Turns. Oh, dull. However, maybe, I maybe just, just sticking with the good thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I like the hereditary. The hereditary for sure is going to be yeah. um, uh, important. Maybe that's what you got to do on your Gore Absolutely. Move him around because you can. Get him um, even further. Get him so, close to your enemy quicker. That's another use for Yeah, one. and with the idea of getting a double magical move, is much more likely to be able to affect things as well. I don't know if you, you could perhaps do triple with Van Hills, maybe. Um, uh, have you got access to those? Dance magic Macabre. Parts, you? Are you? Are you? Um, it's Evo, isn't it? Is that even in the book anymore? Was that gone? Uh, <laughs> uh, there is, I think there is a, a magical move, but I, I don't oh, sure, know. fair enough. Yeah, you haven't got witchcraft anyway. Witchcraft isn't available for um, Raven's Wing, um, but yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Mm. Um, wizard Hack. You can get it through Wizard Hack. Well, yes, you can. It. One in ten, you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah so uh yeah overall not much to talk about um but uh maybe that's a good thing this i think this is like yeah. a hidden good thing that not a lot of your stuff has got any more expensive yeah i think kinda. so um but yeah uh let's know your thoughts on beast herds uh yeah. and if there's any talking points that we've missed, I don't think so. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess w one of the meta things is how much the rule book has, has affected your army. Um, it will have affected everyone's, but with you mm. not. Well, there's no exclusive changes, or anything like that. Either, yeah. So. Uh, oh, and, and say, like losing Titanic Might or Blessed Inscriptions, yeah. for example, um, that might take away one of the minor uh, Lord builds. Uh, but yeah, let's know how. How you think, what you think of the update, and how things mm. have affected you, and uh, whether you're excited for yeah. the non-change or yeah. Not I really mean, does this does this affect your new army in the making, lucky sixes, or not? No, no, not points. No. Well, I mean, I don't know how it plays. I don't know because I haven't played it. But um, yeah, yeah, no, well, I, obviously, yeah. I got a load of minor tours. I, I bought it. I oh, bought yeah. and painted that would have been ten disappointing, wouldn't just that? before the update. <laughs> so I just please don't get expensive but they haven't so um <laughs> no, i can still good. fit them all in so there we go um there you go. but yeah let's know how uh, uh, uh how it affects your list um yeah. or your play and motivation to beast herds um hit us up on all the social medias uh facebook twitter uh um, obviously the forum and right here on youtube uh like share subscribe and all and comment, do 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 comment because we want yeah. all your comments. Are you liking these reviews? I don't know whether people are watching more than one or just the yeah. one they're really interested in. Let us know. Are you watching all of them? Um, and also, you know, are, are we reviewing it well? You know, tell us. Mm. Cool. But uh, but until next time, and we will have lots more. Yeah. See you later. <laughs>